use the actual cultural landscape. Well, I grew up with the World Service as the soundtrack to my life. You were never really cut off so long as you had the BBC. That's where we'll head the real news, a window to what's going on in the outside world. I can be out in the garden raking leaves doing kind of mindless labour and yet feel as if I'm being put in touch with the world, the whole world. Bringing the world closer, the BBC World Service. A major breakthrough in the fight against coronavirus, a vaccine that's 90% effective in preventing the disease. Drug company Pfizer says it's a great day for science and for humanity and a significant step forward. But the World Health Organization urges caution. Everybody who's uh, hearing and watching this will be saying, wow, does this mean that life can go back to normal in the near future? The answer is, Life will go back to a new normal, and we're not there yet. Shares soar on the news. Markets around the world are up dramatically. Airline shares benefit too. So we'll be asking, is this the big breakthrough everyone's been waiting for? Also this lunchtime, President-elect Biden plans for America's future, but says there's one overriding priority that needs to be overcome. We cannot repair the economy, restore our vitality or relish life's most precious moments, hugging our grandchildren, our children, our birthdays, weddings, graduations, all the moments that matter most to us until we get it under control. The 17-day lockdown comes to an end in Wales. It's too early to say if it's yet made any difference. Michel Barnier returns to Britain as Brexit talks with the EU are back on, but both sides say there are still significant differences. Still struggling to get essential medication, we reveal how most disabled people still can't access what they need, even during a pandemic. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. A great day for science and humanity. That sentence alone tells you what a big day this could be in the fight against coronavirus. It's from the head of one of the drug companies jointly developed.